I'm about to, I'm about to murder the crap out of that bird with my new cat powers. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Why would he be afraid? Why would it, why would the bird be afraid of the thing that trying to hunt, hunt hunt him down and kill it? Can't imagine why. Well, this is a trip. Yeah. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. And crawl around all hunched up. Oh. This is a trip. Never been a first person cat before in a game. Come back. Give in to your fate, birdie. I jumped and I almost got her. The frustrated sounding cat. Oh, I'm not really sure where I landed just now. You can genuinely wander around, it's not like a linear section. I wonder if I could dive down from above. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Try not to get killed by trying not to hit the lantern cat. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. This bird should really consider flying away. Like, more than a few feet. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. This cat had- this- this kid has an insane imagination. We're gonna try to track down a, a- oh! I need to find something to ret to track down? Where is it? Bad time for you! I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. But then I flew off to find something bigger. Oh my god. We just swallowed an entire rabbit in first person. <laughs> it's just in here. And I can still fly. Ah. A mama rabbit! Uh, we want more? I think we'd be full by now. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark! What? What? Ow. That's horrible. This is a terrible time to be a shark. Pick better times to be sharks. Oh my god. Stay in school, don't do drugs, kids, and never be a shark in the woods. Oh god. Up the cliff and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Don't say. Don't worry, I'll go fix that. Am I gonna eat a person? Is that where we're going with this? What if I get eat- what if I get eaten by a bigger shark? We live this close to the ocean, by the way. There's a seal down there. Can I steer? I wanted fat, juicy seals. A little bit. 
How do I eat? Oh, there we go. I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Where'd you go, Seely? I'm just here to end you. So the controls here are really strange. It's WASD, but those control you going up and down. Oh god, why am I- okay. Not that way. So if you press- if you press W, you go up, and if you press S, you go down. Come here. Surprisingly, you don't steer with a mouse, which would make sense. Come here. Grabbed up tight. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh, what? Uh, what am I? Am I an eel or a, am I a tentacle from like a squid? Uh, I don't know what to think about this one. Okay, hi. All right, Cthulhu tentacles coming for you, birdie. No. Oh. I dragged myself towards the tentacle. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Am I just like a made-up monster, I wonder? Remember earlier when I thought I was just a kid that I should be worried about whether or not she was going to eat something she shouldn't? That was a different time. Come here, bucket. You're my bucket now. I, I can't really, I don't really know how to bring it towards me. I was big, but I moved real quiet. Here comes your monster. I'm your new best friend. This kid might see, might need some therapy if they weren't dead. I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Is he literally singing "Drunken Sailor, Drunken Sailor" over and over again? Goodbye to your drunken sailor songs. Oh wait, I can't reach that guy. He's not connected to the kitchen. We need to eat this other person. We must complete the rule of threes. Where's my tentacle going? Oh, captain, my captain. I got some bad news for you. Last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. Was it a ten-year-old girl? I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Oh no, it's everyone's nightmare of like a tentacle thing coming out of the toilet. No. No. I don't want this. <laughs> it's like that octopus movie where it attacks a cruise liner. I got closer and closer. Molly. Do you have any food, Molly? You ate my berries, Molly. Those were the toilet berries that keep you keep the toilet monster from coming into your house and eating you, Molly. But you ate all the berries. All my stomachs started growling. Stomachs plural. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but 
I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. That's one hell of a... That's one hell of an imagination for somebody from the 30s. This little girl, 10 years old, incredibly elaborate nightmare about her own death. Great. Usually they just start with a monster under the bed and don't have all the imagination for its origin story, but holy crap. Let's see. Oh, Edie died in 2010. And Lewis died in 2010. Don lived until 2016, which is apparently in the past. So uh, this this does this game does appear to take place in 2017. Then, okay. Sven K Sanjay. Huh. I'm not great. At family trees? What's going on with this one? <laughs> so I take it that if you're if they're next to each other, they're all siblings, like Lewis, Milton, and Edith, or Molly, Barbara, Calvin, Sam, Walter. I'm not great with what the leaves mean. Is that an outsider joining the family, I suppose? Like, did Don and Sanjay give birth to everyone else? But those those names don't have birth and death dates. Are they locations? Huh. So, everyone on this entire tree is dead. Across the entire thing. Uh, Edie lived to be 93 years old and died seven years ago at the same time as Lewis. So whatever grand tragedy took Lewis away probably took Edie too, unless she died of heartbreak or something. But Don outlived them all. So Don outlived most of her children. Uh, enjoy that, huh? So I guess it must mean that Gus and Don were the people who gave, who were the parents of Edith, Milton, and Lewis, and Odin and Edie must have been the parents of everyone else over here. So Edie, Edie also outlived all of her children. Then Walter was last to go in 2005 at the age of 53. This family doesn't have a great history with life expectancy of anyone besides mothers, I suppose. Is the cat outside? It is. It's like from the story. Am I just, uh, I'm just gonna go for this? I would not expect this to support me. Oh no. Well, let's go for it. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. Oh, so she read the stories then. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. We're in Edie's room. So they're all about memorializing the dead, huh? Like, just constantly, everywhere, there's a ritual around it. All the way down to all of the dead animals in the family all have, like, the, the, from the snake to all the, to all the birds, they all have, like, a photo of them or a painting of them kept in a cage where, that, where they presumably used to live. There's so many of them. What is that? A lizard? So mostly birds, but there was a lizard and a snake. An owl. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. So Lewis died, Edie started setting up everything she always Edie does when someone Edie dies. Her gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. But then Edie must have not 
Edie must have not finished. I'm guessing that Lewis died, then a week later something horrible happened in this house. Either Edie died, either Edie died and people just, and they, they felt like that was the one reason to stay there, so they moved on. Or something happened that let, that they forced them to leave and that the events of that maybe were dangerous for Edie. Handprints of everyone in the family. Those... I'm not crazy, right? Those hands look like they're proportioned wrong. Their palms are so big. And their fingers are so little... They're little, little stubby fingers. Huh. I, I think maybe they're little tiny baby hands, but some of those are huge, and I assume they're prints. But this is Grandma Edie's room. 1988 to 2010. Not a happy time. Is that... a wood model of the house, huh? Looks different. If it, if it is, it looked different when that, when that like model was made. If you look at this... It looks like that down there is the corner of the house where the TV and all the books and the... the couches and the library and stuff are. And there's the... staircase that overlooks it. And it, so it looks like the house has changed since this bottle was made. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. That seems to be their entire relationship is... is the mom being mad at Edie a lot. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edith Jr. Lake Trip. I'm named after Edie. Is it still a junior when your mom is Don? I genuinely don't know. I don't have to deal with that kind of naming scheme. Built 1937, Aaron Finch. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire, air quotes. So you can see the house didn't have the extra wings built in the in the tower. It was just a, it was just a probably as it came. He was already old back then. People, Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Okay, so that that gives away the death then. Which means the family's name is Sven. So I guess the people you marry don't go onto a family tree then, or at least not this kind of tree. Cause Sven's not on this thing. Odin is, which must- which I think may be Edie's sibling then? Yeah, Don, Gus, Gregory are probably all siblings then. Edie and Odin. Man, I, I have basically never looked at a family tree since like maybe when we were introduced to the idea in like middle school? Or elementary school? Deepest sympathy. Even in her 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Well, dragon kills Finch. Tragedy strikes. Yeah, that's depressing. He's making a nice big uh, slide for the kids and always building and always building and then he d dies horribly. That's too bad. The Mysteries of Death and Thereafter. Joining the Great Majority. A lot of books about death. Fury might even be about that tank story. I don't know if that movie is based on a book or not. But everyone... That's pretty much just about everyone being doomed to die, too. It came from space. Starship Gemini. Another copy of Fury for some reason. The Devil's Flame. Bad Bug, Jungle Book. So there's definitely some repeats throughout the house. I think I think this is the highlight, right? Is Mysteries of Death and Thereafter. Oh, written by Odin Finch. So not only is this house about death, and not only is she obsessed with death and memorial memorialization and so on, but her brother wrote a book about death. That's like a 
common theme throughout all of them. Is that... Is that just a random photo? Like, whoa, look up here! Or is that literally a photo of him... of the slide collapsing and him dying? Because holy crap, that... The idea of having that specific of a photo ready. I cannot read that. Let's see if I can fix the texture quality. Not really. I cannot read that. I wonder if, uh... I'm wondering if... That may have sparked her, the beginning of her, all of her memorialization and everything, and... This pattern she follows. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter Edie with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. I haven't seen one of these since I was really young. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. That's not a sibling, that's... that's Edie's father. So then Gus is probably Don's father. No, they're born a year apart, so it can't be that. This may just not be a great way of, of uh, detailing this kind of information, honestly. <laughs> There's like some inconsistencies in its... its, uh... Symbol symbolization. Person died in 1937. And he's the one that wrote the book? So someone who liked to write about death had a, a ship house and died in a storm and started this pattern, I suppose. Ben and Edie. They have a shared... Wow, the books here. Too many books. Seems like they have a shared room. Right, because it's Sven. Right. What? Whoa. Out of control. Whoa. Not even a shag carpet. This is just like... A bunch of dead animals. <laughs> There's your pill schedule. Shower. They needed a chair. Makes sense due to the whole chair lift situation. That's what you call it. Not going out here? Oh, that's sealed. There is a sealed bathroom. Has a peephole, though. I think I'm supposed the to look- The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> Not a small remainder. Is that a... Do you have wine in the bathroom next to the cleaning stuff? Orange. Can't read the rest of it. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch? I have questions. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Whoa! This fa I want this family- I need, I need to get a time traveler. And we need to take this whole family and revive them and put them in the same place, and then they need to make escape rooms. 
Because holy crap. What? What? Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. So they, they have a... They have a dark room behind the... Be, be, they have a dark room behind the bathroom for photo development? Hello, spooky robot. And military selfie. Oh, and copy of military selfie. Alvin Finch died in 1950, 19... Wait. Did it say 1950, 1961? Or 1950 to 1951? Did somebody die in, only a year, in less than a year? I don't know, I can't read the textures. I think, yeah, I think they lived for 11 years. Damn. Those are towers of photos. Fort Calvin. Fort Sam. Oh no. The room was probably shared between two siblings, and then pr one of them probably died young, and the other one probably lived for a while. And so they had to, like, split off the ha the room between the two siblings like this one's full of like child's toys and color and robots and nonsense and this one's Sam had a twin oh yeah look at that Th there they are at age eight and then one of them lived outlived the other one so significantly this is a horribly tragic game so far let's see their ages so Sam lived to be 33. That's not much better. But Calvin died at age 11. Jeez. And any of these people just live to be like 80 besides like Edie? The secret li lives of photographers. He's all smoking and developing photos in his crawl space. Hunting. The five grand generals. Oh, there's a photo of Edie doing the little... The, doing the notches. That's when both the kids were alive. Then Calvin died and they just roped it off and he just kept living in there. Which is incredibly morbid. The level of house customization is amazing, though. But it'd be crazy to see a place that would actually look like this. Oh, they had like a bridge. That is a kick-ass room for an eleven-year-old. So the trick here is like uh, Don keeps sealing off all the rooms, but behind the scenes, all these rooms are connected behind by secret passages and weird little tricks along the way. And that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. He was constantly reminded of it at all times. I don't... I don't know if this kid should have the same books as Edie. Hardy Boys, sure. If, does Fury what I think it is, though? 